Chelsea ladies survived a late scare as they lost in Germany but held on to knock Bayern Munich out of the Women's Champions League on away goals. Leading 1-0 from the first leg, England striker Fran Kirby's clinical finish on 60 minutes doubled Chelsea's advantage. That left the German side needing three goals in the final half an hour and they found two, through Gemma Davison's own goal and Lucy Vonkova's tap-in. But Chelsea survived a late rally to edge through and into the last 16. Bayern thought they had snatched the tie deep in stop page time when Simone Lauder tucked in Melanie Berenger's deep free kick, but it was disallowed for a shove in the box. Progression for Chelsea will go down as one of the finest results for a British women's side in Europe, overcoming one of the highest rated teams in this year's competition. Of 12 previous knockout meetings between British and German women's clubs in UEFA competitions, 11 had ended with the German outfit going through. And Emma Hayes is improving Chelsea, who are competing in Europe for a third consecutive season, had been eliminated by German opposition in Wolfsburg in each of the past two campaigns. Bayern, who reached the quarterfinals in Europe last term, should have scored early in the second leg, but Germany striker Mandy Islacker tucked over from close range. Chelsea then edged the remainder of the first half, but their away goal came against the run of play in the second when Kirby raced clear and drilled into the top corner. Things got nervy for the English side when Davison diverted a Bayern corner into her own net and then Von Koven netted after Chelsea keeper Hedvig Lindahl uncharacteristically spilled the ball at her feet. But the hosts were frustrated by crucial blocks from England defender Millie Bright and Lauder's late disallowed goal, and there were tears from Byron's players after the final whistle brought an end to an exhausting tie. Women's FA Cup winner is Manchester City, who lead Austrian side St. Poulton 3-0 in their tie, are at home for their second leg on Thursday.